Let's try it. What do you think? Looks good, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, it smells good too. This is a, uh, this is a home cooked meal here. I'm gonna do this again. Oh yeah, seriously, the ham is so good. Walmart comes that little can. I don't like they did, didn't have the flip top. Cause my can opener, hmm, might need a new one, I don't know. But it was hard to open. And the potatoes just flip. This is a cheap little meal. I think the ham was a buck and the potatoes were 50 cents, hey. A salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil. You could, I didn't have an onion and I don't have garlic right now, but you could um, saute that first and uh, do your potatoes, yeah. So I'm gonna do this again. I really recommend this. This is, I'm just saying, it's really, 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 really good. Yeah. So, yeah, please subscribe. Thanks, that really helps. Give me thumbs up, yeah? Good morning. I'm on the beach, obviously. I'm gonna let you watch and listen while I talk about an important subject. And that's the health of a nomad. Staying healthy and staying pain free. Because I'm telling you, the nomad life there are other things you have to be concerned about and be on top of more than what you would in a home, in a people house, yeah. So let me give you a catch up here. It's early in the morning, it's only 6.30. There's not many people out here. I know this video is a little bit later than usual on a Friday, I usually have it up early in the morning y'all on the east coast but and then you're watching all over the world so it doesn't really matter but my usual time is different i did a little bit of filming yesterday and i was parked by a road way too noisy traffic i didn't want to give that to you so a little bit out here looks like an ibis or something isn't this nice now, the thing, one of the things, I'm on the beach, this is my California tour, um, and I probably, I'm gonna spend the whole summer on the coast, to kind of going up and down the coast, trying out different beaches, and yeah, it's been fun. But there are things I've had to do a little differently, and one is my hair, <laughs> yeah. Um, did you like those wigs I had on Cindy? Um, and I bought three of them from her. Oh yeah. And she gave me one, a red one. I'll have to try that one on for you. But this morning, I just put my hair up. The one thing about hair, this is actually kind of a 60s look. I've seen, it goes, <laughs> I know. I've seen photos of in modeling, not that I'm a model. I know, I know. But it is, uh, yeah, okay. But if you don't have hair, uh, you feel lucky because there's this mist that comes down near the coast and I find it on my this layer on my minivan well somebody had told me it's called they call it the the kiss of the mist okay well the kiss of the mist also gets on your hair and who wants salt in their hair it seems it would damage it just like it would a, a, a vehicle so I'm wearing a lot of hats. I don't have a hat on right now, but I've been wearing hats. So trying to have a nice hairdo on the coast, yeah. <laughs> and if I don't have, like if you have a house, you can go home and shower and everything. But I don't have that. I'm not gonna wash my hair every day. So yeah, um, this is what I got going on. Okay, enough about hair. But you guys, you like your hair too. I almost feel jealous if you don't have hair because you can just like wash your head and, and move on, put a hat on and move on. But uh, yeah, got the hair thing. And of course, also uh, putting makeup on or doing, <laughs> it 
just on the coast, on the beach, eh, it just um, isn't going to happen too much. Now, I am being very careful with my uh, sunblock. I use sunblock, not sunscreen, but sunblock. It's a mineral uh, sunscreen. They call it a mineral sunscreen because there's no chemicals in it. It's all natural. So, yeah. So, that's different. And here we go. Let's talk about this. I'm out here walking on the beach and on the coast, and I'm outside more outside in the sun. Not so much in the shade. If I was out... Um, at a park, in a city at a park, I'd be, probably be sitting under shade and stuff. Well, out here there is no shade. So what do I have to do? Oh my gosh. Let's talk about water. Water. And this is salt water. So let's talk about fresh water. Everybody, you need to drink water. It is so important. That is my new mantra. Water, water, water. Have you had your water today? Like, got water? <laughs> like, got milk? Got water. Do you got water? Okay. So here's what I do, and I want to recommend it. You don't have to do any of this, but I'm going to recommend it. Yeah. In the morning, I drink, you've seen it, I drink 32 ounces. Of, my water bottle is a 32-ounce bottle. I didn't do it on purpose. I didn't say, hey, I need to go find a 32-ounce bottle. Well, I just have it and I look to see what I drink. I drink 32 ounces because I drink the whole thing. I keep it filled up for the morning, so all I have to do is reach over and grab it. You know, when you're a nomad, you can just kind of reach over and grab things, especially in a minivan. You can just grab it because you're in a small environment. So everything's like right there. Just reach over and grab things, yeah. So it's a good exercise. Being a nomad, you do get exercise. It seems like you're always moving. It's not like you're sitting in a chair or on a couch at home. You're sitting right there. You might get up and go get something, but then you, I'll say it, you plop back down. <laughs> yeah, I've been there. And I visited people and uh, yeah, and I house set, pet set one time. Wow, talk about not getting exercise. I, you just, I could put things there on my table and just have it right there. I go like this. But in a minivan, no, I'm constantly over I'm getting up and I'm scooting around well I worry about those birds going overhead because they do poop <laughs> and we're gonna talk about that too they poop I don't want to come down on me and it's off Oof. <laughs> yeah. a lot of birds around here yeah. so water we need to drink water I drink that first thing I drink it first thing don't think well I'm gonna do my coffee and then I'll drink water no, do it first thing. Drink it. And I've had, I have a friend that said, well, I don't really want to drink. It's yucky. I said, well, it isn't fun for me either, but I need to drink water. And what it does is it flushes out toxins out of your body. It gets things moving along. Your liver, your kidneys, your bowels. You need it and you, it, it kind of moves things out through your stomach. Yeah, your whole digestive system. It moves it out. You need to drink water. And then I'm going to suggest that you do it again, just in case you forgot. If you want to do it slowly throughout the day, that's fine. But a lot of people are forgetting. In the morning, do it all at once. Just I, It's like I suck it out of, I have one. I, I don't have to go like that. It's got that kind of straw that I can suck it and just hold it. I just talk and talk and get it out of there yeah um it's 32 ounces and i drink it all and sometimes i sit there da 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 okay let me drink some more da 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 and I, I just get it i get it out of the way and get it done is it pleasant not always no i really don't like the taste of water but i do it because i need the health of it i want to feel good do nomads want to be happy well we are very happy people because we're out in nature and everything but we want to be happy in that we want to feel good we want to feel good and drinking that water is gonna get your bowels moving and I'm gonna talk about it I don't care pooping is very important every day if I don't have a bowel movement 
in during a day in the morning in the morning I'm not gonna have a good day I'm, I'm gonna be draggy I'm gonna be laggy now if you're out and about and you're a new nomad and you're not drinking water or taking care of yourself it's not going to end up pretty. It's really not. And so I'm going to really let you know that you must take care of yourself as a nomad in different ways. And one is drinking water. Because you can, if you don't have a bowel movement within two, three days, you can get impacted. And that's not pretty. And you may have to go to the emergency room and they're going to have to do some digging. And that sounds so gross. If you're grossed out by this, I don't really care. Because we're humans and we need to take care of ourselves. If we have dogs and we're walking around, we have to pick up their poop, right? Well, human poop, um, we don't go around picking it up, of course. But I know you're going to laugh about this. But what is she talking about? But I don't care. I'm being real honest with y'all. And because I was in the health field and I have, my daughter's a nurse practitioner. Um... I've had pre-nursing. I was going to be a nurse too, but I decided to go in the other area and I'll get my degree in um, behavioral sciences. But I've had human anatomy and I'm a mom. Um, I've had four children. Um, I'm not embarrassed about anything. If you've had one child, you're not too embarrassed about too much anymore. Well, yeah, you want to take care of that area. You want to know what's going on in that area. As a nomad, another thing too, another thing that, that can keep the bowels from not moving properly is setting too much. I see a lot, of, I don't know, there are a lot of people living, and I've witnessed them, they're living in their vehicles, whether they're a natural nomad or they're just homeless and they, they're living in their, in their vehicle out of force. But I've seen some of these people and they sit all day long. They just sit in the front seat and they sit there. I saw it a lot in Reno. Well, what is that doing? First of all, you're not getting proper circulation of your body because you're like this. You're sitting, there's your back and here's your head and you're sitting and then your feet down here. Yeah. No, your body isn't going to get moving that way and your bowels are definitely not going to get moving. So you need water and you need movement. You've got to move your body. You cannot sit all day. Your feet are not going to get proper circulation if you're just sitting. Experienced nomads and, you know, we're out moving around. And uh, whether you're a sightseeing nomad or you're like me, you just want to just live your life. And I'm at the beach walking all day. I will say, okay, I'm going to tell you. I know you're going to go, really? Really? I can show you the picture of my pedometer, um, the amount of steps. I've been getting anywhere from 15,000 to 20,000 steps. 20,000 steps is almost nine miles, and I've been doing it on the beach. So I'm, you know me as a nomad, I'm always moving back and forth and back and forth. And I'm moving and I'm cleaning out, And but you can't just sit, you can't sit. It's just, it's not good for you. It's not good for your health. Uh oh, bird going overhead. <laughs> there's crows here too. There's cranes. Of course, there's seagulls. There's some sort of different ducks. Yeah. Okay, so are you enjoying the my talk? I'm making this more pleasant because this might be an unpleasant talk. So we need to have circulation going. We need to have water moving through our body. Another reason for water is our organs need water to work properly. We need to clean out toxins. We're getting toxins just by breathing. I'm getting toxins right now by breathing. Our foods have preservatives in them. Um, even organic, you could say, well, go organic. Really? Let me tell you something about organic foods. I figured this out a few years ago. Corporations got involved in the guidelines of organic foods. Oh yeah, well you know what that means. They changed the guidelines. They changed the marker. They're, they can they can put all kinds of chemicals on now and still call it organic. So, 
Um, I know organic foods. I used to just only buy and I spent a lot of money on organic foods. You still got poison. So you still get, the point is you still get, if you go organic, you're still getting toxins, right? We got to get them out to keep a well-functioning body. We need to, Our liver is so important. Um, so one other thing too is uh, don't drink so much alcohol. And if you're a nomad, don't drink so much alcohol. Because what if in the middle of the night you drank alcohol and if you're uh, like living in a city or whatever, you're not out boondocking or even boondocking, you might have the knock on the window and say, you can't be here, you have to move. Well, you're, you're, you've been drinking. You should not drink and drive. That can be so expensive. I hear that a DUI can be up to $10,000 over the long haul. And it, you don't want your license taken away from you if you're a nomad. Oh my. <laughs> What are you gonna do then, yeah. So don't, and then it's not good for your liver. Your liver, your liver is under here. It's tucked under, um, it goes all the way up to here. It's tucked under your ribs and it goes all the way across to here. That, it's the biggest organ in your body. It's like, it's big. You don't wanna hurt your liver. Your liver can, your liver, can heal itself it can create new tissue it can heal itself i did read recently i don't know if this i think do what i'm talking about but i did read that your heart cannot your heart will not create new uh, uh it will not reproduce new tissue what a heart does is it scars and heals the scarring it'll scar it bird alert <laughs> Oh, right over me. But your heart, what it does is it heals. So your heart will have scarring tissue. As I know it, I just read that. Okay, so um, water, water, water. I'm just gonna tell you, it's water day. Drink water in the afternoon. If you haven't been sipping on water throughout the day, do the 32 ounce all over again in the afternoon. Now in the morning, I have to stay kind of close to my rig or a bathroom because I pee a lot. Um, I made sure before I came out here that I, I got, but I'm peeing a lot. But in that, I am, I am uh, cleaning up toxins and everything. Now, the color, colors. Your urine needs to be clear, somewhat clear, maybe a real pale, a real pale, a tint, a tint of yellow, of course. Let me reposition, I'm sitting on my knees. Gotta get the, talking about circulation, gotta get circulation in my legs, so now you get to see this thing. Isn't this fun? This is fun, everybody, yeah. Okay, so urine color needs to be, and some of you, you already know this, this is a, merely a reminder. If you didn't know, cool. Now, as far as um, poop, <laughs> I know, I know. I learned this way back that a golden brown is your best, <laughs> okay? If you got a lot of black, mm, you need to rethink what you're eating. You might be eating way too much, uh, maybe beef or something. You're getting a lot of uh, chemicals and toxins in there, yeah. But if you can keep that water going, it will be loose enough that it will not be a strain. You don't want a strain. Okay. I know, I know. Um, no meds have to, we have to worry about this. And so I'm here to remind you that these are things that are very important. If you have more suggestions, oh, please leave in the comments. Yeah. Now, cleanliness. Let's talk about cleanliness because there's your health also. You need to keep hand sanitizer handy in a couple of different um, strategic places where you go near where you, you pee or you poop, okay? And after you deal with anything, before you touch anything, use the hand sanitizer and get it going. And then you just wait a minute. Now, here, this is how you're supposed to wash your hands because I was in the medical, I was a nurse's aide certified. I was also a certified, well, just, side note uh, for a psych tech also for we had the uh, Sierra Tucson and that was where a lot I didn't see anybody famous but that's where a lot of famous uh, singers and actors band yeah like um, oh Ringo Starr and Barbara Bath they were there and everything so they go there 
but so I was a, a psych tech also. But when you wash your hands, you wash your hands. I think it's to, isn't it to happy birthday or something like that. Maybe that's brushing your teeth. But anyways, you wash your hands. Then you go like this and you scrub like this. And it's two things. You're getting this, but you're also getting it under your nails. Do like this. There you go. And then wash and then rinse. Rinse really good. Uh, those blow dryer things that they have in the bathrooms, I'm going to tell you right now that um, it's, and this is scientific. It's already been proven. It's blowing out poop stuff, little particles of poop. Because when they flush your toilet, they don't have the, the lid. You know, at home you have the lid. If you flush your toilet at home, put the lid down. Because when you flush it, all these little microscopic things go up into the air. Well, in a public bathroom, you don't have those. So when somebody's flushing, it goes up these little teeny bacteria particles well it gets inside that blower and so when you're blowing they've proven that it blows a feces little teeny microscopic particles of feces and urine i don't use them i just if there's no paper towels i just go like this and walk out and just shake my hands i don't use them and i try to get away if somebody's using it and i'm in the bathroom i try to get away quickly because i don't want that going up my nose and in my hands so just letting you know that it's gross but it's true. <laughs> oh, it's true. Yeah. Okay, so another thing. Let's see. Um, yes, you need to wash your hands a lot. And if you're a pet owner, you need to clean your rig a lot. And you need to. Um, and you probably already do. I'm not saying that nobody is, is dirty. What I'm kind of talking about or talking to are the newer nomads. These are things that must be addressed if you want to be healthy. Clean your rig, wipe it down, get some of those um, antibacterial wipes and wipe down every once in a while. You need to keep your body clean, use tea tree oil and water. You can go, if you can afford it, go get showers often. But if you don't get a shower that day, at night before you go to bed, you need to wash up. It's a given. You need to brush your teeth and you need to wash up. You do. Get a collapsible bucket and do it. I've got some videos on that. Don't let it go. Don't go to bed dirty. Keep your area clean. Keep your utensils clean. Use Get a spray bottle and put some, um, maybe like a third uh, iso isopropyl alcohol and put it in. Or uh, vinegar. Maybe have two of them. One vinegar, one, you know. Vinegar, I use half vinegar, half water. But you need to do these things. You don't want to leave food particles on your utensils because it will make you ill. Yeah. You need to wash up good. You need to be either using a cooler, an ice chest and keep ice in it, it's expensive, or a 12 volt refrigerator, or just go with things that um, don't require refrigeration. And I had asked y'all about um, salsa. Well, it seems to me it's just tomatoes and stuff. Guess what? Salsa. I was informed and I looked it up. It's true. For some reason, salsa, if you don't refrigerate it, it will turn, it will become toxic and poisonous. It can make you very, very ill. That's why I get the little packets of mayo. Don't keep mayo sitting around. Oh my God, it's got eggs in it. It'll make you sick. And that's why I get little packets. Well, I think, I, I think what I'm going to do is I'll do another video about foods healthy foods because we've got to keep healthy and there's more and more nomads out there that are kind of like some of you know all this information but some of you might be flailing around like I don't know what I'm doing or do I want to become a nomad because I don't know these things well let's start a series on, on keeping healthy which means keeping happy also next week I've got a new uh, power station to do a review on but I couldn't do it today, and I'll tell you why. When I do it, I think it'll be on Monday. Um, I might change up my schedule for my videos on different days, but you'll find out. You'll be the first to know. I love you guys. Let's move on to the next section, okay? I hope this was helpful. Hope that this, this did not embarrass anybody. But most of y'all are mature, and you've had children, or you've seen um, your partners have children, and you've helped take care of them. You've helped change their diapers. You know what poop is all about, don't we? It's like that um, book uh, for children. Everybody poops <laughs> and farts. Ah, oh, yeah, I said fart. Yeah, fart and poop. Oh, my goodness. 
and pee and we're using pee bottles and stuff so let's do a series on you know staying healthy with And now on minivanlee.com, we got the stickers and the magnets. You can put magnets on your refrigerator or on your rig, inside your rig. Stickers you can put anywhere, or you can put a sticker on your rig too. A lot of people like to put stickers on the rigs. And um, so just scroll down that much on my website and I will send it to you. I'll put a little personal note in there for you, just for you. And, um, that's a little teeny stickers. I'll give you a few extra stickers too. Little little stickers. Um, yeah. Thank you so much. So many of you have already. And then of course we got the book. From A to Z. Getting inside your rig. Organizing. Getting out of your house. Your apartment. Whatever. And organizing it up. And getting in. And at least information for the first year. To get you going. Yeah. It's not, not the stickers and magnets, the book, they're not expensive. So, and the link for the books is in comments and in the video description. Yeah. Now, we got the Facebook group, good discussions going on in there. So, I encourage anybody who hasn't come in yet, go ahead and do that. Good stuff. And it's fun. We're all like a little family in there. We're the cool kids group. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I got some Sam's Club. I like the little ones because I don't have to drink so much. I know it's sugar. I tried to stay away from it, but um, it caught my attention the last time I was at Walmart. I was like, I must have this. Yeah. It's a little treat every once in a while. I'm a Coca-Cola person. I like Coca-Cola, but these are cheap. I think this, for a six pack of these, like $1.80. If you get a six pack of these, of Coca-Cola, it's like three, four dollars. So, wow, I hope you guys have a really good weekend. I love you guys so much. Um, you guys inspire me. Yes, you do. I love you. Mm -hmm.